A no le estudio, a no le dije no. A no le dije, supongo que you know, you need to know en, en precálculo o en disoye, ¿no? E Integre algebra. But quickly, we have four scenarios. One, two, three, four. El scenario number one, que es the most common, is when you have a zero real, no repeat. Ajá, entonces en the top es no, es completely irrelevant. So the important part is the, is the bar, the nominal. In this case, the factorization is or the, the decomposition is x minus 3, x plus 1, no parenthesis, no necessary parenthesis. You put parenthesis, okay, no, parenthesis never is enough. And you put A and B, right? This is the most popular. It's a, however, we have another, suppose that we have x minus 3 cubic, in which you have real repeated. Uh -huh. Entonces, now the decomposition format is different. It's long because you need to put x minus 3 cubic, x minus 3 square, and x minus 3 to the 1 power, no? plus another non repeating is 1. X and you declare the coefficients A, B, C. Okay, however, we have a, a, a scenario in which we have a complex. Complex, okay, you have irre, a, a irreducible quadratic expression like that, for example x squared plus 9. And we have x plus 1 again. Oh, in this case, different because we cannot factorization. You copy this and you copy this. However, in this case, we have a degree 2 on the bottom, degree 1. So this is ax plus b. Uh, and you have only degree 0, que c. Okay? And we have another scenario in which you have x minus 4. Suppose that we have x squared plus 9 again, uh, a square, and x plus 1. So, so we have this format of decomposition. You copy x squared plus 9 square, and you copy x squared plus 9 no square to the one power and x plus one is only guy gets real no repeated and we have ax plus b and we have cx plus d and we have e do you remember very well this or no uh -huh. and the procedure is the same the procedure is you try first of all see we have uno the super smart value uh -huh. to complete the information we need frame variable frame value sorry frame values plural and see so you have no nothing to say you apply a system of equation and that's it let's See at least one example of the last scenario. This is example number well, number one for today. Suppose que is x cubed plus x square divided by x square plus four a square. Uh -huh. And we are doing the partial fraction decomposition. So what do you suppose que is this case? Number one, number two, number three, or number four? Number 
for obviously right because it's irreducible quadratic at this expression is impossible factorization in the real field and I have multiplicity too. Therefore, you write x squared plus 4 is square, and you write x squared plus 4 without square. Uh -huh. And you copy, either way, you copy ax plus b and cx plus d. I, I put it in my paper in this order. Do you understand very well the format? Yes or no? Yes. Uh -huh. Let's go to the algebra bar. What is the least common denominator? Well, the least common denominator obviously is x squared plus 4 squared, correct? Remember when there are repetition of the fact to you take the fact that it contains higher spawning. And not necessary to take the smaller spawning because we are finding LCD. Uh, now multiply the entire equation by the LCD. It's obvious that okay, magically the fraction is gone. Eliminate the fraction. So we have CX plus D. In this case, there are coincidences. It's cancel out completely. But in this case, no, it's AX plus B parenthesis time X squared plus 4. Okay, so this is equivalent equation, but the problem is that the original equation have a fraction. In this case, after the multiplication by the LCD, mm -mm, no fraction anymore. So let me try, let me try, let me try. X cubic plus x squared is equal. Obviously, we have no smart. But why? Because the only guy I can make zero here is uh, imaginary. It's too high, plus or minus. Uh -huh. Entonces, I try to avoid I manipulate with the imaginary and complex. No, no, no. That's another way Okay, bring me this example is well, okay, no, no smart. Okay, no problem. Now I copy CX plus D. And you foil that part. It's plus A X to the cubic power. A plus 4AX plus BX squared plus 4b. Uh -huh. And we compare the polynomial, bueno, 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 okay, okay. the polynomial in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the left-hand side, in the right-hand side, no? Okay, so in the left-hand side, we have only one guy gets x cubic. It corresponding with this. Oh, it was as easy, A1. Because that one features A1. Likewise, for similar x squared, we have only one, get this. Therefore, find the same reason, be A1. Okay, cool. Does I need to find B and C? Uh, wait, wait. I need to find C and D. Because B is one and A is one. Okay, okay. So now, now, for example, I grouping C and four A is the element of the term can contain only x. It's zero because in the left hand side we have no x to the one power. So my equation is C plus four A equals zero. Okay, uh, 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 and the D and 4B, okay, the term that do not contain X, it's a constant at degree zero, it's also zero because we have no uh, term that contain X in the right-hand side. So D plus 4B is zero. 
Oh, oh, oh. Pero I know que B is one. Now substitution. D is equal minus 4B. But B I know que es one, entonces es negative 4. D es negative 4. If you have D in my hand. And you have A in my hand. In the second equation, look here. C is equal minus 4A. But A is 1, C is negative 4. In this case, what's easy? Of course, I select pretty easy example, no? To don't complicate the algebra. Sometimes the algebra is, is nasty. It's super heavy. But you don't worry too much. Because remember, I explained last class, the word from alpha. Maybe we, today we practice the word from alpha. Uh -huh. so what is the final answer? What is my famous final answer? What is my famous final answer? So this... Well, no, let me copy again. X cubed plus X squared over X squared plus four raised to the second power, get the original given expression, is equivalent. Es equivalente, es equivalente. C and D both are negative 4. And negative 4 X minus 4 divided by X squared plus 4 plus 4 squared plus and A and B are 1, entonces X plus 1 divided by X squared plus 4. End the story. This is the final answer. Any question? What part is confusing? Question, question, come on. What part you don't understand very well? You know, the algebra part, the complexity, depending of the problem, no? depending of the examples. In this case, I try to find easy because my I want to focus in my time and my attention. No, only in the algebra because the algebra is I suppose that you know very well, no? So, you know, in the in the problem of the partial fraction decomposition, what format you apply, what expression you set up. Uh -huh. Does no problem with example one? Everyone understand example one? Yes or no? I can't erase the board. Clear. Okay, well. Okay, example two now. Example two, and you help me a little bit. Example two. Example two is x squared over x minus one is square and x plus one square. Uh, remember we have the four possibility one, two, three, four. Yes, Joshua. One, two, three, four, que quickly is real, non repeated. This is real, repeated. And this is complex, non repeated. And this is most complicated, it's complex, repeated. And at what category belong this example to? One, two, or three, or four? Number two. It's over, right? It's real because it's uh -huh, uh -huh, super multiplicity too. Okay, super. It's a two. Everyone is agree. It's two. Okay, so what is the format? It's the second problem. Identification. Cool. And you copy. I, I don't know how many. Bam, 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 bam. Plus, 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 plus. I don't know. Let me use a different because I have no idea. Huh? Is real repeated, yes. 
Okay, now I suppose it's enough, but just in case I put da 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 da. Okay, it's second power. This is x minus one. Uh huh. X minus one. I copy in different order in my paper. I don't know why. I copy like that. X plus one. And x plus one. A square. Uh huh. And that part not necessary. The four guys. I want to call A, B, C, D. A, B, C, and D. Is okay? Is it okay or no? Okay. And what is the least common denominator? Okay, help me to eliminate the fraction. Uh -huh. Help me. What is the least common denominator? Remember to find the LCD. You look in the factor and the denominator, no? least common denominator. And when you have some repeated, you take the higher exponent. So you take x minus one, you take everything, no omission, anything. X minus one, you take to the exponent two or the exponent one. Two. 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 And likewise, x plus 1 to the exponent 2, majority. And when you multiply this entire expression by the LCD, wow, in the left hand side we have only x squared against the numerator. In the first state, a x minus 1 and x plus 1 squared. Do you follow me? You understand this? plus b x plus one a square plus c x plus one and x minus one a square plus d x minus one a square everyone follow me with this idea or no Uh -huh. Okay, now, 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 I try my base using the smart value. Of course, we have two smart values. We have x equal one, it's a smart, because when you plug it in one, at least this guy, this guy, and this guy disappear, right? You see? Uh-huh, and stay alive only B. Okay, so in the right-hand side, remember, you replace X for one. And one is square of one. This is zero. This is zero. This is zero because one minus one is zero, and stay alive only B. Parenthesis, one plus one is square. And one plus one is two. And two is square four. Therefore, B is 1 over 4. At least take advantage. The smart value is important. Give me a lot of information. What other smart value you can see? What smart value is useful? Negative one, very well. When you plug in negative one, we have here negative one, so we come back at the beginning here. We have negative one squared, okay, uh, by the way, positive one. That part is zero, because negative one plus one is zero, that part is zero, that part is zero, and it stay only D. D Negative one minus one is square. Uh, negative one square is one, and this is negative two, and uh, square is positive four. Does it by the same reason d is one over four? Okay. No more is more. No more is more.
because remember the smart is the number when you plug it in disappear one expression and simplification a lot of our program but we cannot frustrate we continue because i need to find c and a so you declare no smart you got a frame value okay, what is the idea of the frame value you plug in arbitrary value but no too big I, the, the best frame value is zero. Zero fantastic. Zero fantastic. When you plug it in, you replace x for zero. We have zero is equal a multiplication zero minus one. I did that, guys. I using this expression. Uh huh. And zero plus one square. Uh huh. And B, but the problem is, I know who is B. B is one over four. You replace by the corresponding value I found before. Uh huh. So we have here zero plus one square plus C. Which I don't know. Zero plus one. 0 minus 1 plus d, pero d is 1 over 4 again, is 0 minus 1 squared. Okay, so now this equation is 0 is equal. This is a negative 1, but this is positive 1, because it's invisible. This is negative 8. Plus 1 over 4 times 1. Plus C, this is, this is 1, and this is negative 1. This is negative C, no positive C. It's negative C. Plus another 1 over 4, negative 1 squared, positive 1. Okay. This equation, but it's, it's, no, I don't like this. I like, I like that you organize a little bit more decent. Like a standard, maybe no, because we have one equation that contain two or no a and c. Okay, so now you combine one four, one four, and one half, and then is zero is equal minus a minus c plus one half. It's obvious that this equation is equivalent to say a plus c plus c or minus c. Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Uh huh. This is minus a, and this is plus c. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is a minus c or oh, let me see. Is a minus c? Yes, 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 yes. But the only thing I did was this one half stay in the right hand side. Yeah, I move. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. C minus A. Professor, Professor, Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Mister, what's your name? Edward. 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 Okay. Uh, I f he said I forgot this is square. And I said that become positive. So this become positive. Uh, and positive. This is positive. And this is positive. And now the equation would be a minus c equal one. Cool. Okay, to say I don't find a and c, no. But I have equation. Because I need to equation number one. I need to, you know, select another frame value, plug it in and give me again the relationship between A and C, and you have two equations, and two unknown. So say, of course, never you take big number, you take a small number, no? So say one, negative one, I take, maybe two positive. I'm plugging in, plugging in, plugging in, here again, here, this is the original, original. Do you see that this is too long, guys? And I did a selection of the no complicated problem. 
They are probably okay, you should too weak doing that. Uh, two square is four. Yes, because X is two. A multiplication by two minus one. Two minus one. And two plus one square. Plus again one over four. Okay, B. Uh, two plus one is square plus C, two plus one, two minus one is square, is the square guy for God, plus one over four gets D, two minus one is square. Okay, now this is four. This is a one, but this is a three. And three square nine is nine a plus this is three again square nine is nine over four plus c this is three this is one square this is three c plus two minus one is one square one is one over four uh -huh. this is my equation let me try to organize the equation. You have 9a plus 3c is the variable. Uh -huh. And then the one side I put equal 4 minus 9 over 4 minus 1 over 4. No? And the least common denominator obviously is 4. And we have 16 minus 9 minus 1. This is 9a plus 3c is equal to wow, 16 minus 10, no? because negative 9 and negative 1 together is 10, is 6. 6 over 4 is 3 half. And this is my second equation. Let me copy. 9a plus 3c equal 3 half. Wow. This is equation number 2. And now the problem I need to solve is... You copy equation number one is a minus c equal one half. Equation number two, nine a plus three c equal three half. Equation two. Okay, 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 okay. You say now if you want, you multiply by, by two both equations. No, it's not important. I see the most important I see is okay, maybe see you multiply the equation. So one by three. You convert the equation one like that. Three a minus three c equal three half. No. Wow. And it's already I leave that part for elimination. Mm -hmm. Does it, we have twelve? Okay, it's nine plus three. This is it's gone. And this is three half plus three half, get three, no? And 1.5, 1.5, 1.53. Divided by 12, both sides is one over four. Because simplification of the term, no? Divided by three, one, divided by three, four. Okay, so now A I have in my hand, find the C, a piece of okay. K. You take the easier equation, in my opinion, the easier equation is this. The original one, and you replace one over four minus c is equal to one half. Therefore, one over four minus one half is equal to positive c. And so we get the LCD is four. Get okay, one minus two is negative one over four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have the collection a, b, c, and d. Let me write the final answer. The final answer is D. The expression can reach in a was. Well, one fantastic way is you replace, you come back, uh, you come back at the beginning, beginning, beginning. So who is A? A is one over four, no? One over four. Let me see where is A. Oh, yes, one over four. 
and you using a eraser and you erase like that, boom, 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 and you put one over four. This is one possibility. And what about B? It's exactly one over four again. Wow. One over four. And what about Z? C was negative, one over four. And what about D? D was one over four again, no? yeah. And in the story, I finish. Of course, this is ugly. I don't like this way. I prefer that way. Look. The first partial fraction is four multiplication x minus one and the one and the two. Plus four x minus one squared. Minus, so this minus I put in the front always. It's more understandable. And you put a four here. Plus four X plus one X squared. Uh -huh. And this answer is ready to uh, continue with the calculus part. This, everything we're doing is pre-calculus, now calculus is coming. But I don't want to explain pre-calculus. They are calculus. How do you feel? Too long, no? I'm sorry, this is a problem that we cannot do in five seconds, in five minutes. You need to dedicate time. Any question? Everyone follow me or no? Answer me. Okay. Okay. It's, it's one thing. Okay. Looking at the teacher doing that, you don't learn. You have to practice. For practice, of course, I left the homework in Alex. The bad habit that okay, you try to take the test without the homework is not good. The homework for practice and also it's extra reward. Because it's unbelievable. This indicates me. Okay, you are lazy student. And also you don't do the homework and also you get 50 in the test. You are lazy. And the lazy don't pass for sure. OK, one more example. OK, suppose this. X square plus 2x plus 3 divided by oh and so somebody do make do a favor to factorization this but not totally complete this is the original expression they need to understand what case we are doing, see number one, see number two, see number three, or number four. Repetition, number one is real, non-repeated. Do you see I repeated several times the things? Uh, the other is real, uh, repeated when you have multiplicity. The third is complex, non repeated. And the last one is complex repeated. It's the most complicated. I, even, I never put it in this. What do you think? Complex, non repeated. Yes, you are right. You are right. But you need to verify, Mr. Who said Edward, no? Edward, how do you know that the solution of this is complex? Well, the fantastic way to uh, investigate that is you take the AA1, BA2, 
and CF4, no? And you complete the discriminant of this quadrat equation. Que es la expresión inside the radical, no? Entonces es 2 squared minus 4 multiplication by 1, multiplication by 4. This is 4 and this is 16, no? This is minus 12, it's obviously negative. That indicates us que the solution of this is obviously no real. It's complex. You treat like that. Complex, no repeat. My next question is how many parts of fraction decomposition you break it down? This is pressure. How many? How many? And uh, which one? What what you put in the denominator? No? You make a selection of this. This is one factor, and this is another factor. Okay, we cannot separate because it's complex. You copy like that, the real part, and you copy this. Uh -huh. And in the story. Yeah, and it's a two. Uh -huh. And the numerator, what, what, what letter are you using? You're using A, B, C, D, F, two, two, two. Okay, and it's, uh, let me finish this format to start doing the algebra of the partial. And the numerator you put what? What letter you recommend me using? Yes, degree zero, degree one. A and B, like that? Everyone is agree with Jenny? Everyone is agree with Jenny or Jenny making a stay? Everyone is agree or disagree? No, Jenny. The problem is that here degree one and always in the uh, partial fractions, the degree of the numerator is less than. This is degree one, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you are right now. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, so now I'm necessary to explain this. This is Bx plus C. Okay, because it's degree two, you yeah, need in the partial fraction degree. So the basic, uh, the basic idea is that the degree of the numerator is less than one, the degree of the numerator, no? And the denominator is two, numerator is one. See, the denominator is one, numerator is zero. But that is the reason I, I copy X alone. Cool, 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 cool. Now, now, it's obvio, it's obvio, it's obvio that the LCD is the multiplication both. Uh-huh, and when you multiply whole thing, by the LCD stay alive, X squared plus two X plus three, Okay, equal, 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 A time, another guy, que es X squared plus 2X plus 4, plus, parenthesis, BX plus C, uh, X plus 1. Everyone is agree with this multiplication? When you multiply these times these, it's obvious okay, that both is cancel. When you multiply times these, it's obvious okay, that cancel x plus one. Of course, with the corresponding x plus one in the LCD and stay alive is it's the reason can copy that. When you multiply by the third one, x plus two is cancelled with this, and stay alive x plus one. This is the reason they copy x plus one. Okay, no bad. Uh huh. So now we believe okay, we have a smart body or no? Because sometimes, no, we have no. We above 
when you have complex, no smart value. In this case, no, because this example is the combination real and complex, non-repeated. So what is the smart value? Let's doing let's doing x equals something. Who help me to create a smart value? Uh, negative one, right, of course, negative one. Negative one because I know very, very, very well that when you plug in negative one here, specifically here, negative one plus one is zero and disappear in that part. Okay, so the negative one is a good guy. It's a smart. So the negative one square plus two times negative one, two times negative one plus three, is equal eight. Let me put a bracket here. Negative one square plus two times negative one plus four. He obviously that part is it. Boom. Say goodbye. 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 And this is one. And this is minus two. And this is plus three. Obviously is two, no? It's two because. 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1. No? I mean, in this order, in another order, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, and negative 1 plus 3 is positive. And on the other side, we have a bracket, we have 1 positive, minus 2 plus 4. We see this is 4 minus 2 is 3, and 3 is 2, sorry, 4 minus 2 is 2 and two plus one is three. So that part is three. Therefore, A alone is two terms. Cool. Mm -hmm. I need to find B and C. But we have no more smart body, unfortunately. The only factor real, non-repeated was this. I need to use a frame value. Frame value may be, may be good. What is good? Zero is also good. And I know that it's more or less one. No? Let's do it, of course, one by one. Hello. But I select zero and one. And zero, I using one more time, always this expression. Let me. Enclose in the big box, important box. This is an expression I use it all the time. Suppose zero. Zero is three. It's obvious, no? Because zero squared plus two squared is three. And a, I know, is two over three, two thirds. Uh -huh, this is zero, zero, f four, time four. And your multiplication, 4 times 2 is 8. But no, after, in the next line. Plus 0 and B disappear. 0 and 1 is C. Is C, is C, only C. Okay, this is basically we have 3 equal A over 3 plus C. Therefore, I continue here. C alone is equal to 3 minus A over 3. This common denominator is 3. And 9 minus 8 is one third. One third is C value. Okay, now you see one maybe. You finish. Okay, one. One is easy. One is one plus two plus three. Yeah, because x equal one uh, equal a, but I know that a is two thirds. No? Parenthesis one plus two plus four plus one x is one does b plus something is one third. 
un plus un et tout. Multiplication by two. Ok, this is six, obviously. Five plus one. This is uh, six, seven, fourteen, no? Fourteen third. Uh -huh. And you multiplication why now? To be, to be, to be, to be plus two, 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 third. Okay, therefore to be is equal six minus 14 over three minus two third. And see the obviously a three. We have 18 minus 14 minus two. 14 negative and two negative together is 16. This is two third. Divided by two, because it's to be, so B alone is divided by two, uh, two thirds divided by two is one. Oh, no. End the story. We come back. We come back. So our pressure, que es X squared, plus two X, plus three, divided by, X plus one. X squared plus two X plus four. S equal. A is two thirds. O sea, the elegant way, either way, guy, either way is correct. But the elegant, in my opinion, is to put the two here and the three in the bar. And this is better, no? But this bring me new situation because B is one third and C is one third. It's a coincidence, que the same, pero no always happen. Because in this case, you can put together, but in this case, que in another scenario in which the denominator is, is not coincident with this, so you need to separate in two parts, but it's okay. So it says X plus one, you put three here, X squared plus two X plus four. End story. This is the partial fraction decomposition that we need to con to continue and calculate. Too. Any question? What part you don't understand very well? How do you feel, guys? You need practice. You need practice. Without practice, you can never get that. Okay, practice. What is the practice? Doing the homework. When you, when you see that you don't understand, or oh, your answer is not correct, and you need to understand, take a screenshot this question, send me me by email, attach, I solving because I have different way to verification. They send the solution, right? This is the process of the student I want that you are doing. Oh, you are quiet, and you now in the test you have 50 points, and no homework. Wow. Big trouble for you. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And for me, it's a pleasure. I enjoy doing that. So, but the problem is the same as the student. Okay, now we change the topic. The next topic in the chapter four is the systems again, but of nonlinear. Wow, nonlinear equation. Uh -huh. Those I want. First of all, this causing in 2D. And 2D means two dimensions, X, Y, X. This is most popular. Because in 3D is super, super complicated. Of course, I want to try, but elementary example in 3D because it's too heavy algebra. It's too heavy algebra. So what is the definition? What is the system nonlinear? 
Si at least one equation in the system is nonlinear, ya the system is nonlinear. Si at least one equation is nonlinear, everything is screwed up. My system is nonlinear. Let's see example, 210. Suppose the system formed by equation minus x minus 7y. Let me write properly. Minus 7y equal 50. It's equation 1. And equation 2 is x squared plus y squared equal 100. This is equation 2. And this is the system I need to solving, but now you don't care solution, you care classification. This system, so the first equation is linear or non-linear? In your opinion, the first equation is linear or non-linear? Come on, guy, answer me. How do you know when it's linear or non-linear? Nobody know? Nobody know? Then what? The exponent. What happened with the exponent? Complete idea. If it's, if it's one, then it's linear. Exactly, exactly. Exponent one is linear. So when you manipulate and you are doing the graph of this, one is a line. Because you can manipulate and express it in the way that you very well know is mx plus b. So the super fantastic identification exponent one. Okay, exponent one, que es invisible, by the way, es linear. Now, see, another equation is linear. Ah, ah, ah. Entonces, the thing we studied in the other lecture, que we have solution here, or no, 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 no. But in this case, non linear, because the exponent is two. And when it's non linear, Something is different. It's a curve. I don't know. It's a circle. In this case, it's a circle, of course. But a circle or parabola or hyperbola or whatever. No? Then the solution is this. Now, this system contains one solution, one equation, sorry, that is linear. Yeah, another equation is non-linear. Therefore, the classification for this system is non-linear. Okay. Ah, see, so both equations are non-linear. So it's, it's more non-linear. But okay, we have no degree of non-linear. So you have equation one. You have, for example, x squared plus 2y squared equal 22, equation 2. And this system is also nonlinear because in this case, both equations are nonlinear. Cool? You understand very well this? Classification only. You understand very well or no? Yes, yes. Okay. Now let's move on to the possibility of solution. Because in linear system, I remember very well, in linear system, I remember very, very, very well that we have three possibilities. We have one solution, unique, it's in 2D, but in 3D it's, it's the same, no? The only thing that changed in 3D is that the equation is not lying, it's a plane. But if you see the picture, you remember, I suppose, that maybe we have unique solution. And solving algebraically also, you see that we have unique solution. You have no solution. When the lines are parallel, never meet, no solution, no common point. And infinity many solution when the line is the same. So we have one line, and at the beginning you don't know or you don't realize that it's the same, but actually you discover during the process that it's the same line. We have infinity many solutions. In this case, we have, remember the famous smart, uh, smart no, free barrel. 
river. So always, when you have infinity many solution, it's because we have free barrel. So you need to remember this. This is only for the linear. Now let's see what happened in nonlinear. In nonlinear, for example, you have different we are possibility. Suppose that one equation is a circle, whatever, I don't know. Yeah, it's a circle, like that. No linear, it's equation one, red color. And we have equation two, it's a line, it's linear. How many solutions you see in this system? How many? How many solutions you see? And this is. This is equation one. Nonlinear. And this is equation two. Linear. How many solutions you see? Come on, guy, answer me. You don't know. Two solutions, obviously, get the point point. So one solution is this, and another solution is this, two solutions. So definitely, no, in this example, because I can now put every, every possibility, we have two solutions, or three solutions, or four solutions. Uh, for example, you have ellipse like that, that represent the first equation. And we have another elixir like that, que represent the second equation. Uh -huh. How many solutions you can see? Four solutions. Four solutions. Okay, this point, this point, this point, this point and this point. So you need to be aware to face a problem in nonlinear can have multiple solutions. Two solutions, three solutions, four solutions, five solutions, depending on the nature of the equation. However, we have another possibility in which you have, for example, one equation is a parabola like that, and another equation is a circle like that. How many solutions you can see here? No solution. Because we, we have no common point. Infinity many solutions theoretically is possible, but it's very, very imp no probable. Because it's the same. Maybe, yeah, it's the same idea, but no, no, never you found this in there. Okay. Uh -huh. And so now the challenge is now how we solve it. No linear system. No equation. One, 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 one. Actually, they are not special, special rule. They are not special rule. However, however, we apply similar idea that we are doing in the linear system, you apply elimination or substitution. So, so for example, in the scenario, example one, when you have one system, like a display at the beginning, that is one equation, that is linear, and another equation that is non-linear, Always you apply substitution. How? You take the linear equation, you isolate one variable uh -huh, and substitution in another nonlinear equation. So you take the linear minus x minus 7y equal 50. 
You isolate, for example, the x because the coefficient is one or negative one. It's good to so isolate. So now, in my opinion, there are many ways to do that. However, I move the 50 to the other side, like a minus seven y minus 50 equal x. Oh, yeah, I move the x to the right hand side. And you take, you take now this expression and substitution in another nonlinear equation is this and the x place. So far we have minus seven y minus fifty square plus y square equal one hundred. So in that moment, of course, we have equation. Case a quadratic equation, I guess so. And contain only one variable. It's that x for the moment is gone. Uh -huh. Does I recommend that you expand this binomial? Okay, by the way, I can change the sign here about the positive, no? Because you say, wow, why? Uh, one of the reasons is because, 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 let me try to explain, because. Because suppose the original both are negative, no? And you factor out, if you want, no? Or mentally, you factor out a negative one, into the seven y, minus 50 square, or plus 50 so square, and a square both, no? And negative one square is positive, and positive one is invisible, bang! And you get exactly the same answer, right? This is one point of view. Another point of view you know very well, Okay, when you expand this, when you expand this, this is uh, square the first, okay, minus seven. Suppose I don't see that, it's square. Minus or plus a uh, multiplication both, okay, seven y and 50 plus minus 50 squared plus y squared equal 100. Okay, this is 49 positive. Y squared. This is, a, oh, I forgot two here. Remember? Remember the span a plus b squared? Is a squared plus twice a b plus b squared. It's a classical formula. Okay, to do fast, quick for it, you are doing this. And so you multiply uh, 50 times 7 is 350, 350 times 2 is 700. Y plus 2500. Okay, negative 50 squared plus Y squared equal, equal 100. Okay, we combine like there are 49 and 1 is 50. 50, 50 Y squared plus 700 Y plus 2500 minus 100. Why I move 100? Because I suppose that this look like in the last stage quadratic equation, no? Okay, so now <coughs> you combine one more time, 50 y squared plus 700y plus 2400 plus 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 2400 equal to zero. Okay, okay. So look like horrible. This is a quadratic equation. I use a quadratic formula. No, no, because I realize if you divide this equation, I put it in my calculator now, divided by 50, one by one, 50 divided by 50 is one, y squared, plus 700. Divided by 50 is 14. And 2400 divided by by 50 is 48. Pero no, 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 pero I make a mistake. No, 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 it's okay. It's, it's okay. 48. Equal to zero. And zero divided by 50 is zero. Wow, amazing. There are no reason to work with this stupid number. No, no, no. You apply your own algebra. You know very well of the old line. You plug it in the quadratic equation, yeah, you get the same answer like me. However, 
you spend a lot of time using the arithmetic power. I want to calculate maybe. Uh -huh. In this moment, ah, I suppose it's easier by factorization. Yes or no? What is the combination you give me? What is the combination to open the door? This trinomial. Two numbers can multiply each other. Give me 48. And somehow, when you're adding all subtracting, give me 14. Do you see the combination or no? Or you apply the quadratic form? All right, guys. Wow, what's going on? Some people disappear, right? It's not for everyone. Okay, opinion, no opinion. Factorization or no factorization? Guy, you hear me or not? Edward? Jenny? Gladys? Okay. What is the combination in your opinion? A and C. Absolutely perfect. A and six. What sign? Gladys? Positive. Both? Yes. Uh-huh. Therefore, my first solution is doing y plus a equals zero. It corresponds with the y equals minus a. And y plus six equals zero. It corresponds with the y equals minus six. Okay. And I feel no, 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 no. We are in the middle of the process. I need to find, I discovered two x y value to satisfy the, the equation. Now I need to find the corresponding x value and to say what equation I use. It. Obviously, the equation that I am using is this equation. Okay, it's waiting for me because x is isolated. I want to copy again. x is equal. Minus 7y minus 50. Okay, suppose y minus a. So it's minus 7 times minus 8 minus 50. This is 56 positive minus 50 is 6. Wow. And this corresponding to the point 6, negative because I'm using the y negative. Now let's do it in the second. The second is x equal minus seven again, multiplication by negative six minus 50. This is 42 minus 50 is negative. Therefore the a is negative a and the y is minus six. Be careful with the sign and the order. This is important, extremely important the organization negative eight, negative six and positive six negative eight. two solutions we expect if you want to verification you can plug it in any point into the original equation and verification but no i suppose that everything is good now the fantastic way to verification everything is in decimals you plot the the equations Okay, let me try to show you my 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 my, my Desmos. Okay, I create for you for the nonlinear system of equation. Okay, 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 and okay. Do you see? Do you see? Yes. Yes. Okay. Example one. Look at that. I copy the equation separately. Linear. Nonlinear. I do that. Oh, can you see? Wow, amazing. The equation green is nonlinear as a circle. The equation blue is a linear as a line. It's obvious, no? And the common point intersecting bone is the point we found algebraically, and we can verification here graphically. Any question? Do you understand very well or no? Yes. Cool. Let's come back. 
to the whiteboard. Now example two. Example two is similar because I need help. The first equation is two x plus y equal five equation one, and the second equation is x squared plus y squared equal fifty. This is non-linear. The second and the first is linear. What do you recommend me to do that? Come on. I hear recommendations. Come on. I saw yeah. the variable in the linear. Which one, Jenny? X or Y? Isolate the verb in the linear. Yes. Why? Okay. No. No strictly mandatory, but it's obvious. Okay, it's countable. The y because y coefficient is one. And so I did that. Y is equal five minus two x. Taking this, the only thing I did was two x moving to the right with the opposite sign. Now what should I do? No. You take this expression and substitution where? In another equation in the y place. Okay, then, then, then we have x squared plus parenthesis five minus two x squared equal 50. And this is my new equation, because it's a combination of both. After the substitution, that contains only one unknown case x. Okay, so you expand. Remember the formula to expand, is where this guy gets 25. Minus, because it's minus that sign. See, it's minus both are positive, you know, see, it's minus only one is minus. And this is 20. Why confront 20? 20 was. 2 times 5 times extra 2. Remember the formula, no? A plus or minus B squared is equal A squared plus or minus twice AB plus B squared. So the sign here could be positive or negative. And this is exactly the same of this copy paste. But the second is always positive. S squared, the second, and the second is 4 X squared. Equal fit. Do you follow me so far? Do you follow me? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. This looks like quadratic equation, definitely, you know? We end in quadratic equation. I need to put in a standard form, no? I suppose. You copy x squared, 25, minus 20x, plus 4x squared. Minus 50 equal to zero. Okay, nice. So, so you combine that term. This and this is like one plus four is five. Minus 20, 20 is stay alone, no common, no light term. And 25 minus 50 is minus 25. Oh, in this case, I see. Okay, any coefficient C, 5, 20, and 25 is divisible by 5. You divide the entire equation by 5. You have x squared minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. Wow, here I have a nice quadratic equation. Okay, I suppose that everyone knows very well the factorization. The factorization is 5 and 1, 5 and 1. But the same sign or different sign? Both negative, both positive, one negative, one positive, which is negative, which is positive. 5 is, five five is negative. 
and the mm -hmm. one on the Exactly. Very well. Like that. So one solution is phi. And one solution is negative one. At least in the X component. Now to find the Y component, you plug it in here. You plug it in actually, guy, in either equation. This is the beauty of that. However, I select this because, because Y is isolated, waiting for me. Look at that. So at X equal five, substitution, semicolon, Y is equal five minus two times five. And two times five is 10, is negative five. And the point was phi is the x component and negative phi is the y component. Let's do exactly the same procedure. We use a negative one. Y is equal phi minus two times negative one. So say phi plus two, no? Is seven. Entonces, the point is the point negative one comma seven. Two solution. And it's obvious to solution because we have a circle. So the equation x squared plus y squared equals 50 represents a circle where the center is located in the origin in 0, 0, and the radio is right of 50. Okay, this is, you know, irrational number, right? And decimal approximation, maybe. But you have a and the circle and the line cross in two points, okay, it's 5, negative 5 and negative 1, comma 7. Of course, let me show you on this one. Let me show you on this one now. Any question, guys? Do you, do you, do you follow me? This it look like complicated or easy? Guy, I need an answer. By the way, Jenny, Lali. Oh. Uh, 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 Rachel, you say something? Activate the microphone. Rachel, you say something? Okay, I don't, I don't, let me see in the chat. Yeah, I'll give you all the time, okay? Okay. And Camila, you are there. Camila. Camila Carballo, no? Are you there or you are sleeping? Yes. You are my student. Or you drop the class. Because you disappear. And you ignore me. Okay, to say, I, I, I need to talk to you. No, no, of course. I need to talk to you. You need to explain me because I am badly, I am dropping the class. I think in two times. Sure, we'll talk. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, I send email. Do you receive my email or no? No, no, the problem is no say sorry. Uh -huh. So we have no communication in between us. By email, it's impossible to talk to you. No? You never received the email. You never received because you are here. And so you are here because you received the email with the link and you get inside the lecture. So I suppose, can you check in the email, please? I, I sent one uh, horrible email to explain your situation. And you, well, no, I don't know. You oh, stay here one minute after when the glass is over. No? Maybe, maybe. No, I don't know. So to you, you let me know what is the best way. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I forgot. I forgot what the thing you went. Ah, Desmos. Desmos, let me try to. I explained it the first day, guys. This is the hard class. It's not easy class. 
Si you don't focus, you don't pass. And focus is hard. Don't focus is impossible. No, no worry. You you drop or we draft and you take in next semester with me, one of the professors. You don't like me. Okay, I understand. Uh, Desmos. Do you see Desmos now? Jenny, Gladys? Um, yes, yes. Okay, we're doing example two, no? Oh, look at that. Example two is the circle equation blue. And equation linear is red. And the intersection is... Okay. Well, one thing is you know or you, or you want, but to be reality, you need to work. You need to work. You disappear. Well, maybe you have COVID. No, I understand COVID, COVID, okay. But you present the medical uh, paper, no? I suppose. Okay. Okay, no deviation for the lecture today. It's the most important. Let's do a couple more of nonlinear linear into the. Uh -huh, I know I will do my work, my work. Okay. You, you keep your work, but you don't keep your class, maybe. But this is a priority, no? In the life, you need to make a decision. This is, this is I understand everything. I, I am human. I, I, I am living in the same country with you. This is a complicated country, and you need to prioritize one thing. See, for you, it's important the war, and the war absorbed you all the time. And to say you're waiting for the more proper moment to take the class. Do you see my whiteboard or no? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Let's move on to example three. Example three, oh, look like horrible. Look at that. Is example three is x minus five square plus y square equal 25. This is my equation one. Okay, of course, it's a non-linear. And my second equation is equal three times a square root x minus a. Wow, what the hell is that? Well, there's no illegal. Any 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 expression using exponent two or oh, oh, radical is non-linear. Of course, it's non-linear. It's non-linear. Okay, what should I do? What, what should I do? I'm lost. I don't understand. Who, who suggest me something interesting to continue? What do you recommend me to do? Uh -huh. I have a students here, like a Jenny, like a Gladys, like a Edward. Um, sorry, say for God. Faisul can get 100 points in everything and participate in the lecture and you see interest. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And another student, they know. Okay, okay, I understand. Um, uh, another student get in here and now disappears. I don't want to see your names. I'm doing the mess in the, in the test. Okay, to say now, what should I do? Help me, the, the brilliant students. Okay. Oh, Edward says, so to do it, why? Okay, okay, because Edward take advantage, take advantage, okay, the Y, that Y is isolated in the second equation, that Y, look, that Y is isolated. Mm -hmm. And this equation, therefore, by substitution, substitution, this expression, this expression, this expression, where? In the y place, here. I write, I write, it's x minus phi is square plus parentheses 3 the square root x minus 8 is square equal 25. Wow. And we have one equation that contain only one variable, only one unknown, k6. Why is gone, disappear. Thanks to the substitution. 
Now expand this guy. It's x squared minus 10x plus 25. Everyone follow me? Everyone understand where I come from this 10 and where I come from this 25? Now let's continue. Plus. And this is look like monomial, not binomial. This is different. You treat a square and nine and a square root and a square power together, cancel out each other. But don't forget to put the parentheses because this nine multiply everything. So you omit the parentheses, you are in big, big, big trouble because I believe. Okay, now I multiply only x. No, no, no. Multiply everything equal 25. Okay, now again, look like quadratic equation. The reason the quadrat is by this guy. It's square power. We combine like term. Let me see, let me see, let me see. x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus 9x minus 72 minus 25 equals 0. I put in the right hand side 0. Mm -hmm. Now, wow, I like that. Look, this guy and this guy cancel. Say goodbye. Positive 25 and negative 25. And negative 10 and positive 9 is negative 1. Just say x squared minus 6 minus 72, I guess so. It's equal to 0. Okay, I suppose it's possible by factorization, yes or no? You have two numbers that combine, okay, multiply each other, give me 72, and when you're adding or subtracting, give me one or negative one. Do you realize what is the number that satisfy that condition? Exactly, 9 and 8, you're thinking about only the condition and you adjust the sign. It's all because negative and positive. Uh -huh. Now, one solution is x minus 9 equals 0, okay, 9. And another is x plus 8 equals 0, okay, negative 8. Okay, now I'm going to find the y value by using the equation two. Guess waiting for me. Y isolated. Good. Let's so now add x equal nine, plugging in x equal nine, plugging in where? And the y pressure, the y equal to time, the square root nine minus eight. Nine minus eight is one. Square root one is one, y is three. And the famous point is the point 9,3. Now, the second solution is add x equal minus 8. Therefore, y is equal to 3 times square root minus 8 minus 8. Wow, what the hell is that? Negative 8, negative 8, negative 16. And negative 16 is imaginary for i, no? And to say what the interpretation is, remember my advice. When you try to do something in algebra, and the answer is imaginary or complex, it's because do not exist. And this solution is wrong. And, you know, this is not classical, but frequently happen in the expression that somehow involve radical. Because it's the expression inside the radical. When you evaluate negative, it's complex. Therefore, this solution do not exist. Therefore, actually, we have only one solution against this. But just in case, if I want to understand much better this, I put in Desmos this system, I try to see graphically what is the solution. Okay? Uh, so far, everyone follow me? Let's do it for this one yes, now. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Now this must. This must, this must, this must. Okay. 
Let me try, let me try. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay, do you see that small or not yet? Yes, yes. Yeah, this is example three, look at that. This is my first equation, this is my second equation. Uh -huh. Now look at that, look at that, look at the interpretation. Ooh, you, you, the interpretation is the first equation represents a circle. Look at that, circle. This circle is different to the another circle we see before. This circle is centered at the point 5,0 and the radio is 5. However, in this we have, we have parabola, but we have one half of parabola because when you find the square root, you know very, very well, okay, we have two solutions, positive and negative. Suppose okay, I try to write similar, copy and paste, you put a negative in the front. Bang! You see the, another branch of the parabola, another half of the parabola? But my problem original is not like that. It's only the positive part. That is the reason that we have one solution, okay, 9,3. Cool? It's fantastic. Okay, you are doing by hand and your piece of paper, you put in Desmos and you verify okay, everything is okay. Okay? Any question? Let's come back to the whiteboard to see one more, two more examples. Two more, two more. Two more examples. Two more examples in two dimensions. I bring two more in, in three dimensions, okay, it's crazy. But unfortunately, we have one from Alpha. The student can need to take a cross three. Okay, let me try, let me try to ask you. Uh, do you see my face or no? You see the whiteboard, no? Or you see this one? Let, me, see, let me stop sharing. Do you see my face now? Yes, yes. Okay, big? Uh -huh. uh, I need to know if you need to take calculus three. Calculus three is only for the student que, que your major is engineer or Mathematician or physics. Okay, engineer and science. A specific mathem. Uh -huh. You don't know. Okay, Jenny, no problem. Does it calculus two? Yes, you oh, you finish calculus two. What is your major, Jenny? Computer science. It was, it was computer science, but then I changed it. Oh, computer science, fantastic. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go to the data analysis. OK, this is good also. Data analysis, uh, machine learning and something good, good. Uh, what about Vladi? I changed my major to psychology. Uh, next semester, I'm going to take statistics. The statistics, but like mathematics? Um, no. What is that? But uh, psychology and statistics of the psychology. What is that? I don't understand. It's stats 2023 that I have to take next semester. It's uh, uh, I understand now. You major is psychology. Yes. And the only mathematics extra that you need to do is statistic. I understand. Now. Is there no calculus? No calculus. Wow. And what about Edward? Edward. For another participation, Joshua. Uh, Faisul, Rachel is leaving. Wow. Um, uh -huh. for hey, next what? semester, Calculus maybe one. electrical engineering. Uh huh. Ne but next semester, what class you have to take? You need to take for taking calculus one. You need to to take trigonometric because this class that you will take with me now is equivalent to pre-calculus. It's called algebra plus pre-calculus. But to take calculus one, you need trigonometric, right? Uh -huh. Trigonometric. 
Trigonometry. Trigonometry, I explain next semester in person in the campus. Is 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 Tuesday and Thursday in the morning. If you want, take with me. Okay. I appreciate so much. A student like you. You are welcome in my class. Trigonometry. I suppose que is at the same time of this. But in person. Okay. You don't like in person, no? The student, the student don't like. But all, the problem is that online is good for the good students. They are students that is not ready. Uh -huh. I'm taking trigonometry in the spring. Joshua, with me or another teacher? Joshua. Hey, Joshua. I have to check in my portal. Okay. But you enroll already, no? Uh -huh. And what about the rest? Brianna, Faisul, Kyle Garcia, Natalie, and Camila. Come on, answer me. Andre, sorry. I forgot you. Wait. Like, Psychology, yeah. too. Okay. There's no mathematics, only it's a statistic. Okay. But the statistic, uh, no. uh -huh. I have not enrolled in the meeting with my advisor. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Wait, what was the question? The question was, uh, what is your major? Can you expect to... to oh, my, my major is uh, right now is electronic engineering. And so you need to take calculus three, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you take calculus one, calculus two, calculus three, differential equation? Yeah. And what about early? Camila psychology. Okay, good for you because you are not good in mathematics. My major Nar is on biology for now. And I'm pretty sure next semester I'm taking um calculus. Well, Natalie, to take calculus one, you need to take first trigonometric. So the requirement to take calculus one is what is the reason that you cry, Edward? Uh, you need to you need to take the mathematical previous to the calculus one is color algebra. Uh, Pre-calculus and trigonometric. You take with me both algebra and pre-calculus. I know that my advisor has my map set up for me. I just haven't actually like checked my classes. I'll check them right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, and what about Kylie? Kylie Garcia? And Brianna? Can okay, never, never, uh, it's a mute. You never talk to me. Do you, do you understand very well, André? Ajá. Uh -huh. And Rachel. No? Well, we continue. One more example. Do you see my whiteboard or no? Or you see this one? No, you see my face. You understand? Let me share my board. There you go. Okay, you see my board, right? Yes. Yes or no? Okay. Now let's do a different problem. 2x squared plus y squared equals 17. Equation one, que es obvio, que es non-linear. X squared plus two y squared equal 22. Equation two. This is my system that contain two non-linear equation. So the, the idea that you take the linear and isolate, mm -mm, no good. You apply now elimination. And in the way that you prefer. For example, remember elimination, uh, you multiply one equation, in this case, two x squared will be fantastic. Okay, I have here minus two, right? To be, to be elimination. Oh, no, exactly. You can eliminate the y, so you multiply by negative two the first one, but I need to do, I need to decide one way. And the way I decide my piece of paper was 
multiplication by negative two here. Multiplication by negative two. Now you modify a little bit the equation two, can now is minus two x squared, minus four y squared, equal minus 44. This is my new equation two. Uh -huh. And we focus C in this equation and in this equation. It temporary, temporary, I ignore the old equation two. Now, when you add equation one plus equation two, uh, so you get ready elimination that part. Pam, pam. Say goodbye. And we have minus 3y squared. Equal, 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 equal 44 and 17, no? So a negative 44 and 17 is 27, I guess. So no? let me check it out with the calculator. 44 minus 17 is 27, yes. Negative 27. Divided by negative three both side. Y squared is equal to nine. Oh, fantastic. You have quadratic equation. You apply square root both side. Y along is equal plus or minus three. Cool. Now I need to find the X value. Therefore, I use either equation. In my paper, I use a number two. I don't know why. Well, I know. I know because because well, x is, is get the variable I need to find the coefficient is one. Okay, cool. So now I select. Look, I select x square plus two times. So I select this equation here. Two times, two times, two times y. But y have two value, and you have like one by one separate. Yes, you can, but not necessary because it's plus or minus three is square and when you is square positive and negative you have the same value equal 22. So x square plus uh, positive 3 and negative 3 square 9 is 18. Okay cool and so now x square is equal 22 minus 18 is 4 and when you apply square root both sides Plus or minus two. Wow, it's very confusing. How many solutions? We have two solutions, three solutions, four solutions. What do you think? X is two and negative two, and Y is three and negative three. We consider all combination or no? Okay, this is basic. See, I copy all combination is two positive and three positive, two negative and three positive, uh, two positive and three negative, and negative two and negative three. Like that, you believe it's like that or no? Yes, absolutely, because look, I can compute separately. However, when you plug in plus and minus here, become positive, there's a positive three, Give me two solutions, case okay, so positive two and negative two. And negative three, give me exactly the same combination. And we have a four possibility guy right here. Do you, do you see that one? You understand this one? Yeah. Okay, just in case. The fantastic, fantastic, fantastic way. Put in Desmos and verification see if we have actually or no four solutions. Let me try. Uh -huh. Okay. You see Desmos? Okay, example. Yes. Example four now. Look at that. Example four. Wow. Look at that example four. Example four contains two non-linear equations. The first one is the orange color. The second one is purple color. And the intersection of four solutions is exactly the solution I predict in the piece of paper. Cool. In my opinion, this is a fantastic way to verify. Okay. 
Let's go back to the whiteboard. Mm -hmm. Let's do it one more example. You see one more? Yes. Uh -huh. Suppose this example is x squared plus 4y squared equal 4. Equation 1. And we have another equation is x squared minus y squared equal 9. Both are nonlinear. And see, both are nonlinear, it's obvious que we cannot apply substitution because to apply substitution we need only one alone one y or x alone you can isolate but si you eliminate the square using a square root so you consider two sign and you complicate your life too much now elimination is the best way and uh, what should i do well you multiply the equation two by four because because I need 4 here, negative, and 4 positive is ready. So you multiply 4x squared minus 4y squared equal 36. Equation 2. Okay, now my system is now this guy and this guy. Together, in temporary, I ignore this. No. This no. And you add equation one plus equation two new after the multiplication. And we have five, no? Five, five, five x squared. This is cancel out, boom, boom. And this is 40, 40, 40, 40, 36 plus 40, 40. But by five is eight, no? X squared equal eight. Uh-huh, now find the square root both sides. And this is x equal plus or minus square root eight. If you want simplification a little bit, no, 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 no mandatory, but okay, leave it like that. You can leave it like that. But this is two and four, and the square root this is square root four. Gain okay, no, get two. So actually, it's plus or minus two. Right. Okay. This answer is two. Go outside the radical, and these two stay inside. Okay, okay, okay. Now, in order to find the y value to finish my problem, I taking the Easter equation, in my opinion, is the second I ignore. This equation is the Easter. I take it. So I take in any double sign, when it's a square, you put together, if you want, plus or minus two, radical two is square, minus y squared equal nine, it's all for y. This is a. You know very well this a, no? It's a. Minus y squared equal 9. No? Therefore, let me try, try, try. a minus 9 equal y squared. And it's a negative 1 equal y squared. Wow! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And so now when I try to apply square root both sides, we have complex or imaginary. Mm -mm. That's mean it do not exist. But do not exist this answer or, or this system have no solution. Well, I try to find X, but the Y can correspond. Remember, we found the point and the point have two components, X and Y. Therefore, see, uh, the value of the X, when the plugging in in the other equation, give me imaginary X because do not exist the Y associated with this. Therefore, no point, no solution. I suppose that. However, to see more clear, one more time, I go, go, go to Desmos. Do you see Desmos? Do you see or no? Yes. Yes. This is example five. I call example five. Look at that. Example five is this equation and this equation when you put together look at that wow wow 
Wow, Rachel, what do you want? Rachel dice, yes, yes, what? You are absent when I talk to you. You left, and we come back now. Do you see, you know, we have no 